And I was shocked when I went out into the community and I saw houses that didn't have indoor plumbing, houses that didn't have electricity. The first lady that I worked for had no indoor plumbing and they ran a battery that operated a radio and they carried in water in buckets from a mile away. It was a terrible old house, but she was such a proud woman. And she, but she wouldn't let anybody come to her house from her church. She always was, would have them drop her off at the end of the road because she was so ashamed. And AHIP, through several uh, state and federal grants, was able to put um, indoor plumbing into her house, electricity, siding, windows. It was beautiful. And she was so proud after that to show, to have people over. And I think that that is the, the one constant that I've seen through the past 29 years of working here is these are proud people, people who have worked so hard all their lives but have had a hard time getting ahead. And sometimes with a little help and a little assistance, it makes all the difference in life. It makes them have more pride and, and, and restores their dignity. It just makes such a difference in somebody's life to go home to a house that's safe for them, that's comfortable for them, and that they can be proud of. And I think if there's, if there's one myth that could be dispelled about affordable housing is that we work for people who work. Most of the people on my list are working families, working individuals, or people who have worked and have retired and just barely make ends meet. And one little thing goes wrong in their home and it throws them completely off. I mean, they're just, they're, um, they're unable a hot water heater can cost over five or six hundred dollars sometimes. If your hot water heater goes out and you only make six hundred dollars a month, how can you afford to repair that? And to your question about how many lives I've seen changed, countless, hundreds, maybe a thousand. But more importantly, it's changed my life. It's helped me to understand and have a reason for going to work every morning. And that's what I love and what I love about being involved with this organization.